past couple of months there's been about 80 complaints from the tenants on the third floor here complaining about the noise coming from the Divan Orange and it's an extraordinary amount of complaints. Uh, according to the bar owner they would complain when they were loading in the uh, band's uh, amplifiers and instruments at noon. They might complain again during the sound check during the afternoon and then they would complain again in the evening. All of these calls were 911 calls where they would call to the police. The police when they receive these calls they have to show up and if they go up to the third floor apartment and they can hear the sound of the bar they pretty well have to give a fine. What's interesting is that there were about 80 calls and they only gave I think roughly 12 or 13 fines but each fine is about a thousand to twelve fifty uh, so the total for the fines is about eighteen thousand dollars which the owners of the Divan Orange are saying simply is too much money they can't pay the money and they're going to court to contest the fines with Caroline Normandin who is the um, one of the co-owners of the bar saying that they find that the, the complaints are actually borderline abusive because they're they're happening every day. It's a big problem because every night when policemen come over here and my staff need to go outside and talk to the policemen and explain the situation day after day after day it's like it's everybody was tired of it like the staff policemen everybody's annoyed by the situation. Do you see some things getting better in the sense, like with the city, Projet Montréal, is, are, the, are the representatives more receptive now than they were in the past? I mean, you've been doing this for 10 years, how do you see it evolving? You know, politics are complicated, but it is. People are talking, you're, they're looking for a solution, and hopefully it's going to change for real, I think, in a year or so. It, people are really talking about all those problems, and everybody needs to do something about it. Both the police and city officials, and, and here in the plateau, it's Projet Montréal, aware that these live music venues are an important part of what goes on in the culture of the city. At the same time, there's the rights of the citizens to be able to go to sleep at night and not hear exceedingly loud noise. So it's, it's kind of a dilemma that's kind of hard to resolve. There's very different points of view here and the Divan Orange caught kind of in the middle of this situation. I live next door and my bedroom is diagonal from the main stage of Divan Orange. I do hear the music, but it's a choice to live on such a street as Saint Laurent, and if you choose to live next to a venue that hosts live music, at one point you have to deal with that. If you're going to live above it and make complaints and then renew your lease, that's an even bigger issue for yourself, and you have to deal with that yourself, rather than complain against the tenants that are trying to encourage the redevelopment of this area of Saint Laurent. Et d'un trompe vivant ton cœur.